All right, Shalom. Giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. Peace and salutations unto the brothers, the Akiam, pushing this truth throughout the four corners of the earth in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever to the scattered, the speckled bird Israelites who be scattered among the heathen. I say Shalom. And I say shalom unto the few and faithful Aquat, the sisters listening and learning. This is your brother Yerushalam from the GMS um, Prophetic Vibration Camp here in Trinidad and Tobago coming at you with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Bashem Rakakodash. Now this video, this one will be entitled um, Render Your Body a Living Sacrifice. Alright, Render Your Body a Living Sacrifice. Alright, and you know, now more so than ever, you know, it's important to render your body as a living sacrifice for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Right, you know, because we've seen these signs, we've seen all these signs coming, you know, coming, you know all the different, um, the, the, the different riots, you know, the signs of war, signs in the heaven. Alright, so now we've seen those things coming, you know, so now more than ever, you know, we had to push this truth. Alright, so the more we push this truth, the more we sacrifice ourselves and our time. You know, our lives, you know, for your how Bashem your Shai, you know, the more the quicker these things gonna happen, you know. You know, it's, it's spiritual, it's a spiritual battle. Alright, so you know, we as the men of the Lord, we gotta keep on pushing, keep on making videos, keep on, you know, on the highways and the byways, alright? Whatever you could do, whatever whatever gift you give on, right? Use it for your how Bashem your Shai, right? You know, um and um you know, sometimes, sometimes even um, we get tired, right? You know, your, your body feel worn down or tired, you know, but you have to get up and work, right? You know, you have to be daily pushing this word, you know, as much as possible, right? You know, um, you know, let me go to, let me see if I find a scripture here, you know, see if I find a scripture here. So, Um, so lucky, yeah, let's bear with my moment here. Second Timothy two, three and three to fifteen. All right, so you know the Second Timothy two and three. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier. Of your how shy and mashiach, you know, so so endure hardness, right? You know, keep on pushing this wood, all right? You know, even when you get tired, even even when you feel downtrodden, you know, keep on pushing the wood, don't give up, all right? Don't give up, you know. And I, I know what's the what's the definition of um of sacrifice. The definition of a of a sacrifice. Let me look for that, right? All right. So we have sacrifice here, an act of slaughtering an animal or person or surrendering a possession, right? Um, like Hamashiach's offering of himself in the crucifix, that was a sacrifice, right? As a verb, we have a verb here, one offer or kill as a religious sacrifice. You know, and two is give up something valued for the sake of other considerations, right? You know, so are we giving up our, our time and our and time and our talent, you know, and our treasure, you know, for your Bashim your Shai. You know, because all those are given from him anyway, right? So you know, it's only right and reasonable that we give that to him, right? You know. We be basically offering, you know, and killing ourselves, you know, our our earthly desires, right, for him. Right? You know, we surrendering we surrendering the, the possession or so called possession, you know, of, you know, to your Bashim your Shai. But your Bashim your Shai owns everything anyway. Our spirit and our body. Alright? So let me go to um let's go to the book of Romans chapter twelve and verse one. This is Romans twelve and one. I beseech you therefore, brethren, alright, so this is brethren, Israelite brothers, by the mercies of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, right? The mercies that he gives us, you know, because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is merciful every day. 
Just the fact that we hear me breathing and we have this truth. It's a gift. It's a mercy from Him. Alright? That you present your bodies, you know, a living sacrifice. Alright? Holy, acceptable unto your Hawabashim Yawashai, which is your reasonable service. Alright? So, you know, what the Lord said, um, render your body, right? You know, present your body as a living sacrifice. Holy, you know, holy, which means separate, right? And acceptable. All right? Acceptable. Let's, let me go into that word. Um, acceptable. So, like, yeah. All right. Strong's G, 2101. You artist us. You artist us. Right, you artist us, right? So it says, well, pleasing, acceptable. Pleasing, you know? So when you think about pleasing, you know, what what, what pleases you, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai? Alright? The only thing that's that the Lord say pleases him is faith. Alright? Faith pleases Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Alright? So, um, you know, it's like if faith, if faith um, pleases the Lord, Alright, so then you have to have faith, right? You know, faith and obedience, you know, pleases the Lord. You know, it takes faith, you know, to please the Lord. And what the scripture says, you know, um, it also says faith without works is dead. Alright, let me see if I can find this scripture here. Faith, um... Yeah, let's go um let's go to the book of Hebrews. It's like, yeah. Yeah, let me go to let me go to the um sixteen eleven. This book of Hebrews chapter eleven and verse six. Alright. But without faith it is impossible to please him. Alright. For he that cometh to your Hawabashim Yawashai must believe that he is and that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him right that diligently seek him right and how you how you diligently seek him by doing the works right you know hence the scripture when it says you know faith without works is dead you know faith without works is dead right so you, you can't have you, say, you can't say you have faith you know and you're not doing any works all right you know what any scripture the scripture says you know not, not for beats i'm not you know that you know, sure, I, I show you my, my faith by my works. Alright? I show you my faith by my works. So, you know, and that and this is for a lot of the brothers, you know, some brothers, you know, who, who, who don't believe, you know, in doing the works of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, or they believe that, hey, you know, now, you know, there's not time for that, or, you know, the Lord doesn't want them to do that, you know. Really and truly, hey, there's a command the Lord said, the Lord said to do the works, you know. You know, and, and that's making videos. Right? That's going out to the highways and byways, teaching, alright? All these things. That's the works. Right? You know, because th think about it. How you how how do you how do you help your brothers and sisters? You know, your Lord say, love your Bashim, your shy with your heart, all your heart, your soul, and your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. That's the first two commandments, right? You know, how you how are you gonna love your neighbor? Alright? If you don't preach the word to him. Alright? So it all makes sense, right? You know, and, and how how are you gonna get how how are you gonna you gonna get um your neighbor to have faith, you know, your fellow Israelite brother and sister to have faith, right? You know, by preaching, alright? And that's good goes back to Romans ten and seventeen. Alright. Let me go let me go there here. Let's quickly here. Romans chapter ten verse seventeen. Alright? So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. So faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word, and you have to preach. They had to hear you preaching. Alright? They had to hear you preaching. And how, and how, how are they going to hear you? How are they going to hear without a preacher? Alright? This is good verse 14, Romans 10 and 14. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? Alright? And how shall they believe in whom 
believe him of whom they have not heard, you know. Yeah, so how are we going to believe if you haven't heard it? You know, that's why this wood had to go to the four corners of the earth, right? That's why you have to render your body a living sacrifice, you know, and that's the ultimate sacrifice, the ultimate love for your neighbor, right? For a sacrifice in our life, right? For our life, brothers and sisters. Just as your Mashiach sacrifices life for us, right? You know, the scripture says, and how shall they hear without a preacher, right? A preacher is a man, all right? It's a man who's been chosen by our Bashim Yahushai to do this work, all right? So, you know, it all, it all goes together, all right? It all comes together, all right? You know, and a preacher, you know, a preacher must be sent, all right? A preacher is sent by our Bashim Yahushai. And that goes in that's Romans 7 and 15 here. Alright? And how shall they preach? Except they be sent, as it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and break glad tidings of good things. You know, good things. You know? Good be, be preaching this truth, this truth is good thing that your Hebrew is your light, right? Waking up. Alright? So that's why we that's why we sacrifice ourselves. Alright? So that, this is the most noble calling. Alright? Sacrificing yourself for your, for your people, for your nation. Lord says, no greater love than a man lay down his life for, for, for his brother. So, this is the most noble cause we're doing here. You know, it's a blessed cause too. In the scripture, see how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace. You know, so, so how, how come guys can be saying that hey, you can't, you're not supposed to be doing the works or the works is finished? Also, no nonsense. Alright? Also, no nonsense. You know? It's just bogged out nonsense, really. Alright? The Lord, um, Lord also say we have to obey, right? You know, Lord say we have to obey. You know? And we have to obey His command and what, and what He commanded us, you know? He can, commanded us to, you know, to preach this word in season, out of season. Alright? And He tell us to go out to the highways and the byways. So I'm going to get one scripture. Let's go to the book of um, of Luke, chapter fourteen, and verse twenty-three. It's Luke fourteen and twenty-three, and and the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. You know, and this is talking about the, you know, this going back into the um the wedding, you know, you know, which is the marriage of the lamb. You know, to the church, which is Israel, Israel elect. Alright? So we have to go out to the highways and the hedges and compel the people to come in, right? You know, whether they, whether they hear or whether they forbear. For I say unto you that none of these men which were bidden shall taste of my supper. Alright? And there went great multitudes with him, and he turned and he said unto them, If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, and his whole life also, he cannot be my disciple. And whosoever do what not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Because the Lord rendered his body a living sacrifice. Alright? From the start to the finish. Alright? He was preaching daily. He was pushing the wood. Alright? You know, through those three years of his ministry. Alright? When he went, when he was cruci when he was crucified, he was tortured. Alright? And, and nobody bear that kind of level of torture. Like, oh, wish I had to go through. Alright, and then die. So you know we have to pay our cross. You know, and you know if you say if you don't hate, not literally hating your mother and your father, but it means that hey, you don't, you don't you don't have time for that. Your time is for this work. Alright? Your time is for this work. Alright? The scripture say, you know, let me let me just um read this here verse 28 and for which of you intending to build a tower, sit at not down first and counted the course. Alright? Whether you have submission to finish it, because we have to finish this race. Alright? We have to endure. You know, when you when we make um when we say sacrifice, alright? A living sacrifice, a living sacrifice. You know? You know, usually in the Old Testament, there was a sacrifice of lambs, you know, your burnt offerings, lamb, goats, you know, you know, those things. Sheep. Alright? You know, but that was like a physical, you know, that was a physical burning of, you know, for the burning of the lambs, you know, for the burnt offering, you know, but that's, that's done away with. According to the book of Hebrews, right? Yahweh Shai came and he died first for our sin. 
All right, so that's done away with. But what was it? Was it living sacrifice? As we were saying, living sacrifice is your body. You know, then your time, your effort. All right. You know, just just how, just how the burnt offering, you know, would be consumed, would be burned from the fire, on the fire. Right. It's the same way. The same way we have to be on fire with this wood for Yahweh Hashem All right. And what and what's the fire? The fire is the Holy Spirit. Right. The Holy Spirit is what was what is what burning within us. Right. That's the fire that we have. Alright? That's the fire that we have. Alright? The Lord talk about um the Lord also talk about, you know, is the salt of the of the earth. We are the, we are the salt of the earth, you know. If the if the earth will be salt, the salt and it's salt. This is salt go back to the word. Alright? This this word is true word. Alright? This Holy Spirit, you know, that we have. And you know, if we have this truth, this spirit, you know, it's come like a it come like seasoning when you season food. If you, if you have a well well seasoned meat, you know, it's savory, it it's tasty, right? It's savory and it's tasty, you know, and and, and you know, it it makes for good eating, right? It makes for good eating. So this, this wood, this wood, is literally like it's food, it's spiritual food, it's spiritual food. You know, just as the apostle Kaba did a video on um manje, you know, manje. You know, to eat. Alright? That this food you have to eat this food up. You know? So you have to be on fire for the Lord for this truth. Alright? Um You know, let me um let me go back to Romans twelve. Alright? So he said, let me read over Everybody first um verse Romans twelve and one I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of your of your Hawab Hashem Yahushai, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. So we understand what a living sacrifice is, you know. Every day, you know, you're sacrificing every day you're pushing this truth. Right? Sacrificing your, your worldly pleasures, right? Holy, which is separate, acceptable, when you was acceptable, pleasing to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. You know, with faith, all faith and subjection, obedience again. Alright? Obeying your elders according to the flesh. You know, obeying this truth. Alright? Which is your reasonable service. Alright? Reasonable service, right? Um, let me go into that word reasonable. Let me see what we have here. Logical. So, off the bat, I can see where, you know, that, that goes back to the word logical, right? Strong G three thousand fifty, Lagikas, Lagikas. And it means pertaining to speech or speaking, pertaining to reason or logic. All right. Um, the point B below saying agreeable to reason, following reason, reasonable logic. You know, and um, you know, really and truly, you know, for to win to win this work, is really reasonable. You know. It's really reasonable, you know, because, you know, teaching this song doctrine, you know, you know, having this mandate, this ministry, you know, having had this order to, to push this work, all right, is logical and rational, you know. But why, why is it reasonable, all right? Well, one, all right, number one is that Yahweh Shai sacrificed himself, you know, for us, all right, you know. He sacrificed himself, you know, to, to give us this word, this truth, you know, to, to, to allow us to be able to come back to the Father. All right? If not, if it wasn't for him and his sacrifice, you know, that would be it for us. We'd be always under oppression from Esau and Eden. All right? So the Lord paid, made his sacrifice and paid Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father, you know, with his sacrifice, you know, to open his seal of the book to us. To give us the knowledge of his truth and the understanding. Alright. So let me um I'll go to the book of um Isaiah. Isaiah 53. I believe I start at um verse 10. Yet it pleased let's highlight it here. Yet it pleased the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, the Heavenly Father, to bruise him, to bruise who Yahushai Mashiach. He had put him to grief. Yeah, because there was a grievous which was a grievous time here, which I had. You know, torture, you know, 
speaking, spitting upon, embarrassment and crucifixion, right? When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin. You know? Lord, Lord actually was a sacrifice for our sin. You know? He shall see it. He shall see his seed, he shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of, of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. You know, as Yahweh Shah Mashiach. You know, so it, it pleased the Lord to bruise him. You know, so, it, I mean, for the men of the Lord, the sons of the Lord, of the Lord, you know, we, we sin too as well, you know, and we have to get chastised from a sin, you know. The Lord said we had to bear, we'll bear the indignation of the Lord in Micah 7 and 9. I'll bear the indignation of the Lord, you know, until, until you know, he basically rescues us, you know. You know, you can check that out, Micah 7 and 9, right? And that's the state of mind that we're supposed to be in. Alright? So Yahweh Shai's sacrifice is one of the reasons why is our reasonable service to do this work. Alright? Point two is, you know, the great reward. The great reward, you know, that's waiting for us, you know, that was promised unto us by Yahweh Shai and Mashiach. Alright? It's a priceless reward. What's the reward? Everlasting life. Alright? You know, everlasting life, new bodies, right? Rulership, all right? Rulership, we have real rule over the heathens, all right? You know, and all the blessings, you know, to the men who do the work, a hundredfold, right? I believe that's in um, Matthew 19, uh, 19 and 29, all right? You know, a hundredfold of what, all what we, we, we give up in this life, all right, for the Lord. Let me just let me go to um, scripture here and I should go first Peter first Peter five and ten. Okay, the Lord gonna perfect us, right? In all ways. We're not gonna sin again. This is first Peter five and ten, but the but um the power of all grace who had called us into his eternal glory. By a Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, after that ye have suffered a while, you know. So we suffered a while, you know. We suffered over doing what, you know, rendering our body as a sacrifice too, right? We have, we have to take up our cross and bear it, you know. He suffered, we have to suffer, right? What make you perfect, you know. So Lord will make you perfect, establish, establish us, strengthen and settle us, settle us where in the home, in Israel, land of Israel, in our homeland. So the Lord is going to do all these things for us. Uh, let's go to the book of Matthew, chapter 5, and verse um, 48. You know, be ye therefore perfect, even, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. So, the Lord, the Lord is going to make us perfect. But we have, we have to strive for that perfection now. We can't wait till we get in new bodies. Alright, so part of doing new work and sacrificing yourself is, um, is, make, is to make us, making us perfect. You know? Um, abhorring, abhorring sin, right? Eschewing the evil, loving the good and eschewing the evil. It's like Job, right? You know, and Job, Job, please Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So, we, so with us too, we have to please Him too, right? Let me jump back to the book of Romans here. So like here, this phone freezing up on me, but um, not to worry. I'm gonna go to my trusty um let's go back to um the scriptures here in my bible you know you saw technology feeling once more romans chapter 12. but there's a book of romans chapter 12 and i'll start at verse 2 so you read verse 1 already you know and be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, right? That ye may prove what is, is, what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of your Hashem. Your Hashem, we went through was perfect. You know, right? Lord is making us perfect, right? And we, the reason why we have to do this, we have to push ourselves now, is to make ourselves perfect, you know? And to be acceptable unto Him. We have to, accept, to be acceptable unto Him, all right? You know, and, and being acceptable unto the Lord, you know, it's what we basically what we went through, you know, pleasing Him in, in terms of having faith, right? Being obedient, because the Lord said obedience is better than sacrifice, all right? So 
you know a lot of guys you know and some and some guys some guys you know some guys make the excuse and they say you know you know we and some say our washing your shall alone but no the lord gave us men certain men give us teachers you know and i went through that earlier you know you need a teacher right so you can't turn your back on the, on on them you know on the, on, the, on the men of the lord the apostles and the elders right they taught you this truth right you know you know disobedience is like which is it, as a sin of witchcraft and that's not what we want that's 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 being of the house of Saul because Saul was Saul disobeyed he didn't obey King David obeyed all right so that we are we have to be in the tabernacle of David not Saul all right uh let me read down here verse 3 say for I say through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, right, according to the Most High, hath dealt to every man the measure of faith, right? So, you know, be humble, right? Humility, you know, abstain from pride. Pride is a tripping stone, you know? You know, and, and pride lead on to disobedience too. Having that pride, you know, and... You know, when you disobey, you know, eventually you might stop doing your work, stop rendering your body as a living sacrifice, alright? You know, and it's a dangerous thing, you know, because the Spirit could actually leave you, alright? You know, the Spirit, we know we pray for the, for the Spirit not to leave us, you know. The book of Psalms uh, 51 and verse 11, you know, the King David prayed, I know, that like, Lord, don't take the Holy Spirit away from us. And that's why we have to pray every day, alright? You know, and that's why we have to push the work too, you know, because... You know, if the Spirit given you to, to preach and you're not using your gifts, you know, that could be taken away from you. That could be taken away from you. The same way it was given as a gift. It could be taken away. Alright? There's nothing we could do in our, our best, you know, it's filthy rags in the sight of your Hashem, your Hashem. You know? So it's a gift, you know, use it. Use it or lose it, as they say. Use it or lose it. Alright? That's how a lot of guys getting sifted out too. Okay, so so humility is important. Right? You know the Lord resists the resistance, the proud. Alright? And every man have it have his own office. Alright, let's read on verse 4. You know, well for, let's now let me just read over the last line in verse 3. According to the most high hath dealt to every man the measure of his faith, you know. So every man have a, have a different level of faith. Some men have no faith. You know, the scriptures tell you that. You know. For not all men have the faith. Verse 4 says. For as we have many members in one body, Salakia, and all members have not the same office. So we being many are one body in Hamashiach, every one members one of another. Yeah. You know, having then diff gifts differing according to the grace that is given us. Whether prophecy, let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith. Right? So you prophesy according to the proportion of faith. And everybody could go, some people, some guys will have to go deeper than others. You know, and prophesying and teaching, right? Verse 7 says, Or ministry, let us wait for our ministering. On our ministering, you know. Some some brothers, that's a gift. Or he that teach he that teacheth on teaching. Or he that exhorteth on exhortation. Right? He that he that giveth, let him do do let him do it with simplicity. He that ruleth with diligence, he that showeth mercy with cheerfulness. So all the different ministries, all the different gifts, you know, all the different, if everybody was the same, you know, our body wouldn't function. Think about our body, right? You know, think about our body with only legs, or our body with only hands, can walk, right? Or our body, you know, if you didn't have a nose, you can breathe. If you didn't have ears in and here, if you have, can have a mouth, you can speak, you know, or you can eat. So all are essential, right? All are essential. Everybody can't be the foot, and everybody can't be the hands. Alright, so everybody have their own gifts. You know? Everybody everyone has their own gifts. Alright, um let me go to let me go to let's go through a few scriptures here. I'll go through a few scriptures here. First of all, let me go through um one of my precept in book of mark. But um let me see. Yeah, this this um my phone just freezed, you know, all of a sudden. But that's all right. Continue in your spirit. 
There's your book on Mark. Let me see Mark chapter 12. Yeah. Yeah, Mark 12 and 8, he said, And to love him with all the heart, to love who? Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And with all the understanding, and with all the soul, and with all the strength, and to love his neighbor as himself, behind his first two commandments, right? It's more than all whole burnt offerings and sacrifices, right? You know, and when you, when you love the Lord, you'll do the works, right? You'll obey his commands. That's all I'm saying. All right, let me go to the book of... Um, of 2 Timothy, Timothy. This book of 2 Timothy chapter 3, 3 and verse 16. As we were talking about the different, the different um, um, gifts and offices, you know. All scripture is given by inspiration of Yahweh Shem Yahushai and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction and righteousness. That the man of Yahweh Shem Yahushai may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works, you know. You know, all good works, you know, which is prophesying, ministering, teaching, exhortation. Alright. Um, you know, people who give, people who rule, you know, the camp leaders. Alright. That's what you're talking about there, you know. Making us perfect. Alright. The word of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. You know. And um, let me go to our scripture in Romans here. It's Romans chapter 12, chapter 6, Salakia. And verse, um, verse 12. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body, that ye should obey it in the lust thereof. You know, and that's part of being perfect, right? We gotta try and we gotta strive now. We know we're in these imperfect bodies. We gotta strive to be perfect, right? Neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourself unto your Hashem your Shai, as those that are alive from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness unto your Hashem your Shai. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law but under grace. Right? What then shall we sin because we are not under the law but under grace? Yahweh yeah, forbid because the law still stands, right? Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourself, your, yourselves servants to obey, his, his servants ye are to whom ye obey, whether, whether of sin unto death or of disobedience unto righteousness. So at any day, you know, that's why, that's why we render our body, you know, a living sacrifice, alright? And we kill the lust of the flesh, you know, the feelings for the, of the flesh, right? We, 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 put, we, we, we put, push them down and we seek the spiritual man, right? We speak to seek the spiritual things, right? We seek the spiritual th th things. Um, let's go to Romans again, chapter. Oh, actually, it's a lack here. Let me go to check the book, one scripture in the book of Acts here. Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. So like yeah, let me go to um, let me go back to Romans. You know that's flow better. So this is Romans chapter 7. Alright. I'll start from verse 18, you know. It's talking about the body of the flesh, you know. For I know that in me. That is in my flesh dwelling, dwelleth no good thing, you know, because why we have these loss, you know, of the flesh, right? For to will to present, um, for to will to is, is present with me, but how to perform that which is good I find not, right? For the good that I would, would I do not, but the evil which I would not, that I do. Now, if I do that, I would not. It is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me, right? I find then in law, you know, because, you know, we keep on fight, out of, keep on continuously fight this flesh, you know. 
you know, are fighting, you know, people of this world, the two thirds heathen, you know, or the two thirds, you know, because they they are Israelites, all right. They don't they don't render their body a living sacrifice. They give in to sin, you know. But we we try to fight against this, the, the the sin in our bodies, right? You know, to make ourselves so we become perfect, like how Mashiach was perfect. Now, if I do that, I would not. It is no more the I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. I find then a law that when I do good, evil is present with me. For I delight in the law of Yahweh Shem Yahshai after the in one man. Now we delight in, right? But I see another law in my members warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. O, o wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? And this body, this is a, this is a body of chains of death, right? I thank the Most High through Yahweh Shai and Mashiach, our Lord. So then, with the mind, I myself serve the law of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, but with the flesh, the law of sin. You know. So, but we, but we keep on striving. For, 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 despite this, we keep on striving for perfection. All right. Let's go to the book of Jude. Let's go to the book of Jude. Right, book of Jude chapter 1, well, Jude is 1 chapter, verse 6, right? And the angels which kept not their first estate, you know, and it's talking about the Allah Hayam, the men of the Lord, Lord willing, you know, Lord willing, you know, the hopeful elect, like the elect, right? Which kept not their first estate as angels, you know, but left their own habitation, he had reserved in everlasting chains, which is, you know, which is these bodies, right? Under darkness, unto the judgment of the great day. Right, so we in these chains, these, these chains of sin, this this fleshly body, All right, you know. But Yahweh Hashem Yahshai coming back to change us, you know. So, so now we we just pushing, you know, pushing for Yahweh Hashem Yahshai and it's true, right? Pushing, we come pushing them, we, we actually just living sacrifices for him, you know. And and being a living sacrifice, we constantly enduring, right? We consist, we should be consistently enduring, you know. The apostle made a video where consistently enduring in this truth, right? You know, it's either it, we, we, we endure either until our death, you know, or until we die, until we put to death, or, you know, until you, we see the chariots fly, you know, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shia Mashiach coming back with the, with the, with the strength of, with the, with the um, glory of heaven, you know, the chariots. That's what we endure, we endure unto, right? That, that's our goal, to run that good race, right? And, you know, be that perfect sacrifice unto the Lord. Um... So, so that's so that's basically it. Um, let me see. Um, let me just pull another scripture here. Probably just go one more scripture and one well, two more scriptures and I close it off. Let's go, Corinthians. I'm gonna go second Corinthians. Second Corinthians chapter ten verse three. Right? For though we walk and you know this this continue on, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh, right? So even though we in the flesh, we don't war after the flesh, you know. We know we know the battle is in the spirit, right? So we you know we don't war after the flesh because we know we in the bodies of sins, you know. You know, because we know the weapons of our warfare and our carnal, you know, everything is spiritual, right? Verse 4 says, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty true, our Bashim, our Shai to the pulling down of strongholds. So, yeah, that's the preaching of this word. Not just one of the main sacrifices that we do, right? Making these videos and pushing, it, and pushing this wood on the highways and byways, you know? Alright? Um, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of, your, of the Mosai and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience, you know, and that's one of the things that's, that's um, acceptable to the Lord, you know, you know, obedience, you know, of your Mashiach, and having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your disobedience is fulfilled. All right, so that's, that's important, you know, so we don't war for the flesh, we don't war in the spirit, which is this word, this word is pulling down Esau, pulling down his kingdom, you know, and that's what we're doing, you know, and we, and we, um, we killing all our fleshly desires. Desires. Let me just go to maybe two more precepts, and I'm gonna just close this off. Uh, I 
think I'll go to first pizza and I'm gonna check first pizza. First pizza two You know because at the end of the day listen we have we um So like, let me go to one more scripture, one more precept. Let's go to the book of Psalms, chapter 50, and verse 5. Yeah, I'll close the door for this one. This is Psalms 50, and verse 5. Gather my sins together unto me, right? Those that have made a covenant, right? So we made a covenant with me. By sacrifice, you know, and we made a covenant here, you know, and put, you know, our everlasting covenant, you know, and then the elect as well, you know, we, we come and we come into this truth, when we give on this truth, when we give on this spirit, you know, we require, you know, to use that spirit, you know, for your Hashem Yahashai, to push this wood, right? We require, you know, to make that sacrifice, you know. That's that's what we require required to do. You know? And that's a living sacrifice. You know? So um So I think I'll end it there. I think I, I think um I made the points I wanted to make, you know. I give all praises honor and glory unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim Rakakodash, right? Until the next video, wah bad ba ball and shalom.